so we are in this blind. My brother Jay. <laughs> so, fun fact, Jerry and I are grandpa of the same kid. So his daughter married my son and they've got two kids together. So and Jerry, I've known this guy for years. So it was cool. So we both had our kids around the same time. You know, we would hang out with the kids. And then they both ended up years down the road. They both ended up going to high school. And then I guess they met back up after high school. Yeah. Yeah. Got hitched and had kids. Crazy. So anyway, we ain't seen nothing. We're gonna move on the other side of the property. We're gonna move in uh, that spot I was in last Saturday. So it's the firearm antlers portion of hunting this year. Missouri Conservation gave us that, that early doe season. So we're gonna try and put smack down on a doe too. So we the weather cooled off a little bit. We had all that rain come through here, the Ozarks. Man. It was good, rain for like two days solid. A good cold front coming in the morning. That's really gonna cool everything off tomorrow and Sunday. So anyway, we're gonna get over here. See if we can't get some damage done. Alright, we'll catch you guys in a, in a little bit. Nothing this morning. What do you think, Jerry? Bumped one uh bumped one coming out though. Yeah, yeah, he should have left the mushrooms alone. <laughs> so, my dumbass felt the need to pick some coral mushrooms. We didn't see anything in that blind overlooking that field, so we went ahead and we uh, we set up to another spot. Well, uh, last week where I seen those doves, maybe it's too late, so we'll just slip on out of here. And there's some stinking coral mushrooms in there. Like, oh, we'll get out of here and pick those mushrooms. So I put the mushrooms in my hat. And we're walking out. What do we see? We see a doe. Perk his tail up and take off running. Yeah, because I'm carrying my hat full of mushrooms and my rifle rather than just walking out with my rifle. Paying attention. Mushrooms in my hat like a fool. Oh well, that's what I get. So anyway, man, we'll come back. We'll come back out this evening. So, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to see you shoot a deer. Oh yeah. Yeah, that'd be good, man. Get you, get you back home with something to eat on for a while. So, all right, get to the house, get some coffee, get some food. Maybe you can take a nap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, so we'll get back out here this evening. All right, man. Who's ready to tear up some deer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Gonna get back out there. 74. It's all right, that front gonna be here in the morning. It's gonna be nice. Just call us the buck. Call us the buck? Buck with the antlers? What the buck, Chuck? It's gonna be good. I'm gonna run out there and eat his heart right out of him. Raw. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Guess who's going home early? Guess who's going home? <laughs> uh, plans change. Uh, he's gonna go up. Possible, uh, possible another grandkid this evening, tomorrow. Yeah. Hopefully they'll hold out for a while. Anyway, this guy's going home. I think I'm going to the farm by myself. Um, I'll catch a ride up to Springfield tomorrow. We'll do the barbecue, all that. Come back Sunday. Uh, then I'm gonna bow hunt. I'm gonna try to feel that bow hunt. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see what we can do this evening. So I guess I'm gonna go to the farm by myself. Not a huge deal. Whatever I get, I'm just gonna take this guy. Yeah. Yeah, buddy, that's easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Make somebody else do all the hard work. <laughs> I'm glad you got to see Jerry. What bit that you got to enjoy of him. So we'll catch up with him tomorrow. All right. Here's the deal, guys. Jerry came down overnight so that he could hunt this morning with me. Basically, what happened was everyone left the house. I'm by myself. He was coming down. We're going to hunt for the next, you know, 24 hours, 48 hours, change of plans. He decided to roll back because of a possible childbirth, new grandbaby in a family. I'm staying behind and I'm going to roll out to Springfield. My son's birthday party is tomorrow. The barbecue's tomorrow. So everybody's up there. Everybody's up there getting ready for tomorrow. I'm here at the house by myself. I'm hunting. 
yeah. So I'm gonna go out this evening before that front rolls through. Down a doe this evening. See if we can't do the same thing tomorrow morning. Bow hunt Sunday. Film a buck tag. I might just bow hunt tomorrow as well. I, it's kind of hard to pass up firearm. Get settled in. See if we can get something done. All right. Driving out here. Got the windows down. And the breeze is coming through. Man, it is cool. No worries, man. I brought a rifle, so yeah. Let's put something on the ground. All right, let's get out there. Man, it feels good out here. All right, day one, first evening of the Missouri antlerless portion firearm. Man, this front's moving in. The wind has picked up a little bit, but it feels good out here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the rifle. I'm gonna use my son's 243. He's got one of those Rossi single shots. Um, never shot a deer with it, so I figured, what the heck? I'm gonna give that thing a shot. Uh, man, it feels good out here. Yeah. So Grandma loaded me up with a whole bunch good stuff from the garden. Got me some dill pickles, sweet pickles. Got some tomatoes. Got some. Started digging sweet potatoes. I took a couple, just me to eat some. And a big, big old bag full of peppers. She told me, she said, anybody that wants anything, take it to them. Get rid of them, please. I said, okay, I'll find someone to dump them off of. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk these fields on the way to where we're hunting. I'm saving that stand at the end of the milk lane. The last time I hunted and missed on that buck, I'm going to save that for Sunday morning. I am going to hunt this evening, put down a doe tomorrow morning. I'm going to go ahead and bow hunt. Um, not sure where. Uh, probably maybe the neighbor's property. I'm not too sure. Sunday morning, I'll rifle hunt again. And then Sunday evening, I'm going to hold off on a buck in that stand in the milk lane. Anyway, I'm going to grab the rifle. I'm going to get out there. Hopefully this wind don't mess me up too much. I don't care, man. I'm going to get to it. All right. We'll see what happens. If you guys are anything like me, you're probably tired of watching these videos that I don't film something. I'm tired of shooting these low budget cell phone videos. I just shot a doe. Could have swore I had the uh, record button on. Perfect shot. Had my phone hanging from a tripod in my stand. She walked right out 10 yards, busted her. Ran off, followed her with the camera, everything. Come to find out, didn't even push record. I deal with this deer, I'm going home, and I'm tearing the house apart, and I'm finding that camera. Let's get down and find this deer. Let's find that doe.
have shot her. Got her, though. Right before the cold front. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Not a bad size doe. Doing that. Every time, I feel bad. I'm gonna get her to the house, guys. It's kind of bittersweet, you know. She lost her life for me because I took it. Yeah. <sighs> We're gonna bow hunt. Maybe in the morning with that front. I don't know. I don't know. Probably just sleep in. Go hunt Sunday evening when we get back from Springfield. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Some else is still in the freezer, that's for sure. Alright, I'm gonna get the Suburban out here. Get her to the house. Alright, thanks guys.